So what is a frame? Um, well, basically think of a frame as a website with different sections, with different pages on a page. Now let me explain a little bit more. Um, so this could be a website. Maybe you have uh, three columns. Maybe this is your the main page. On the left side is your links, and on the right side you have links. I mean that could be a page. A lot of blogs have this style too, you know. So uh, what's the code for this? Um, well, to do the code, all you need is HTML. You don't need a header like a head title, that kind of stuff. HTML is fine. We're not putting in a body when we set up our frames. Basically our frames is like, okay, we're going to have our frame and these are the pages that are going to be placed in our frame. Now in this case, it's only columns. So frame set col, C-O-L-S, um, abbreviated, and then a the percentage. So notice 25% is the A, 50% C-L is bigger, that's the B, and C is 25%. Now frame source, notice how it's frame underscore A, that's the name of the file. So that HTML file or HTML file is going to be placed right there and that's what you're going to see. Okay? And then of course close your frame set when you're finished with that. Let me show you horizontal frames, okay? Also called rows. So frame set rows and then it's divided up and similar to calls except now it's horizontal instead of vertical. You can also mix the two, okay? Notice this part. We have um, a mixed a combination of them. Um, you can uh, decide how much space um, you to divide up by pixels. You can just have 160 pixels or 200 or 300 pixels and that will be an exact amount all the time or you can choose like 25 percent of the display area. Now for me I have a screen maybe this big okay and so 25 percent would probably be maybe this big but let's say you have a laptop at home or a netbook and your screen is like this big. So 25% is going to be really, really small. So you, may, you want to make sure for banners or footers or links, you put in a specific amount of pixels. Otherwise, it may be too small if you do a percentage. Okay? Now in this case, I have said 160% is this much. 25% is going to be this much. And then whatever space is left is going to be here. Now how that looks for code, there's are my calls, and it's not case sensitive, you can choose uppercase or lower. And there's 160, okay, that's pixels, 25%, okay, and then see the asterisk key, um, that's shift 8, that's whatever is left. So it's a really good idea to use that asterisk. Alright, let's go into our HTML and I'll show you guys how it's done. Actually, let me show you a couple more, one, one more slide, two more. Now, um, let me show you guys how our frames are divided up. Okay, So let's say the blue is our body, our orange is our links, our red is our header, and the green is our footer. Okay, Now, uh, if you've noticed, see how the red, it stretches to fill the whole page going across from left to right. Okay, When it stretches across all the way from left to right from the whole screen, that means it's one complete row. Okay. Notice the green one is also one row. Now, notice the orange. Does the orange stretch across all the way across? No, it only is halfway. So it's still a row because notice it goes from left to right, but because we have two columns in here, we've actually inserted two columns inside this row. So to summarize, the red one is a full row. The second row is a combination of a orange and blue column. Okay, So there's two columns that make up a row. You guys see that? You guys got to get that. And then you have one full green row. Now notice this one. Okay, How many columns do we have? We have two columns, okay? The brown and the orange, okay? That makes up a column. And then we have the one, the blue column on the right, okay? Now, notice that when we talk about the first column, the first column is made up of what? It's made up of two rows, okay? You see that? It's not a full column because it, see the orange doesn't go all the way to the top? So instead, they're using two rows to form one column. Back. 
All right, you know how the banner was all on one page and the links was here and the and the copyright everything was on one page. Now we're dividing it up. Okay, so what I've done was I cut out the code for the um, the banner and I pasted that into a new HTML um, document. Okay, and I saved as dot uh, saved as banner dot HTML. Then I took out these links. Okay. And these links for the body actually should come out. So here I'm going to go with my link or my. I'm going to go footer links home. Okay. So what you're going to do is take out the links part right there. I'm going to save that. So watch. I refresh that. My links are gone, right? So my links are over here. So I cut out my links, paste them into a new, um, into a new text document, save it as links.html, and then it'll be on this side. Now remember, you noticed it was horizontal. Now they're vertical. All you need to do is put in a br tag, and then it, it's break a line, okay? And then it'll be like this. And then I cut out my copyright, and I put that into a new HTML called banner.html and that's where you see this down here as your footer information and of course you can have the content information that you already have for your main page that's fine that you've made before okay so how does that look for our page well look um, what I first did remember our original index page um, this main one right here with your title and information I named that home.html okay that's my home. Okay, so let's look at our code. Um, so in our code, we have frame set rows, 20% pound, or not pound, uh, asterisk, and 10%. And then now, notice our first row is our banner. So that's why in our code, I put frame source equals banner.html, okay? Because that's the name, um, let's see. That's the name of this file right here. See banner.html. And if I click on just banner.html, that's banner.html. Just that. All right? So you guys got that concept? And then next, remember I have two columns that are going to make up that row. So I have frame set calls equals 10% and then asterisk, whatever is left over. So my first one is links.html and then home.html, right? So if I look, remember links.html on the left, home.html in the middle. And then um, we're going to close that frame set because whenever you have a new, either a column or a row frame set, you need to close it. Now, for, the reason why I didn't close the frame set here for rows is, am I finished with my rows here? No. I have three. Okay, there's three of them. One, two, three. So after banner, I'm not finished yet. I still have two more. But for my columns, notice frame set calls, there's 10% and pound. That means there's going to be two columns. Did I do two columns? Yeah, yeah. yeah, links and home. That means I can close it. Okay, And that will make up my second row for my whole frame. Oh. And now I have my third frame. See the 10% on the top? Now I need frame source equals footer.html. That's my third one. And now I can close my frame set. And when I close that, then you get um, this right here, okay? So this is just one version of it. Remember from my PowerPoint before, um, you can have it be column-based. So instead of starting it out as in, um, so if you wanted something to look like this, what you would do is in your code, okay, um, you would change, see how it says, Frame set rows, that would be frame set calls, C O L S. And then you can put in like, it would be like two numbers. Okay, and then my first one would be frame set rows, and then add two rows in there. Because um, remember this one down here? My first column is two rows. So that would be my first column, and then my second column would be my page.